It is now in order to consider Amendment Number 21, printed in House Report 114-790. For what purpose does the gentlelady from Connecticut seek recognition? The chair recognizes the gentlelady from Connecticut. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of my amendment to the Water Resources Development Act, which would require the Secretary of the Army Corps to implement a corrosion prevention strategy for our nation's water infrastructure. Preventing corrosion is a bipartisan issue and affects every state, district, and local community. In Connecticut and across the country, corrosion shortens the lifespan of our critical water systems, harms the environment, and, and endangers public health and safety. Many of our nation's water systems are over 100 years old. By implementing strategies to prevent corrosion, we can extend the lifespan of these water projects, save money, and ensure that we have continued access to safe drinking water for years to come. So let's be clear, this is not a substitute for the serious conversation that this country needs to be having on updating and bringing into the 21st century our roads, bridges, highways, and sewer systems and water systems. But we do need to work towards extending the lifespan of current federal infrastructure. Corrosion in our nation's infrastructure Reduce the lifespan of our investments, costs our taxpayers billions of dollars, threatens our environment, and endangers our public safety. If left unchecked, corrosion affects many sectors of our economy, including defense projects, energy development, ports, water infrastructure, utilities, roads, rails, bridges, and other critical American assets. Investing in corrosion prevention now will save the taxpayers billions down the road. If my colleagues want to learn more about corrosion prevention, come to Houston, Texas, headquarters of NACE. The gentleman yields. Uh, gentleman I, reserve. I, I do not reserve. I just want to say if Connecticut and Texas can agree on this, then Congress ought to be able to agree on this. So I yield back the time. Those in favor say aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to.